this sand loves to cave in. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Yes, the lodge videos are firing back up. That's right. And I have had a bunch of y'all comment about them Sandhill Flyways hats. Look, if they're ever available, I shouldn't say if they're ever available, they will be available at some point on the sandhillflyway.com website. When they're available, I will be sure, like I said, to let you know. Come on, Fred. Come on, shop dog. Come here, big dog. It's okay. He's been in his kennel all day and he's still a little tired, aren't you, Freddy boy? Construction has started. I have a ton of new plans for the entire lodge. The outdoor uh, projects have actually begun. I'm gonna take you back there. Y'all remember Brad, my buddy Brad Rilsback. He's been on a ton of hunts. Um, he actually owns a plumbing business. He's out back doing work as we speak. But here, uh, after we get done out back and stuff, I'm gonna get the wife in here and we're going to uh, explain all of the new upgrades to the lodge, the interior part of it that we're doing. Uh, but let's head out back and uh, see what old Bradley's doing out back. Old Bradley, he's been to North Dakota with me several times. He's been uh, all over Kansas with me, uh, with me and Preston. You love him, you know him. You'll remember him in about two seconds. But he's hooking it up. He helped me with all of the plumbing when I originally built a place last year. All of you that were here last year during the summer helping me literally helping me dropping all of your comments on the lodge thank you so much i hope that y'all are back for these videos here because there's a lot of projects to get done and i'm gonna need y'all's help all of your recommendations yes i'm still gonna need it's a little windy today bear with me with the wind let's get back here to bradley and see what he's got going on and i'll give you the rundown all right first off before we get started here uh sandhillflyways.com y'all that is where you got to go to begin to book your waterfowl hunt to come here and hunt this 21 22 season okay so uh sandhillflyway.com is always linked down in the description y'all go down there hit the link you can see pricings you can see all the details on the hunting and uh we still have some availability in november december but good availability January and February. That's right, I'm running my hunts this year. What's different from last year? All of February. So the 14th, 15th, basically middle of February, it changes to conservation snow goose hunting. I will be providing two weeks, two weeks of conservation snow goose hunts. So all that said, if you guys wanna book something, you know how to do it go to the website and fill out the inquire to book. It's basically a registration form just so we have all of your info. We're giving away a hunt here on my podcast uh, for two of y'all to come here this coming fall as well. So join the podcast. It's always linked down below. Juicy stuff there. Pretty much for adults only. Just going to let you know. So first off, that's the main lodge. Uh, we're not doing it today but we will be trenching water to the guide shack. Now, the guide shack, as y'all know, it is my big shop. And right now, it's stuffed full of everything. My boat, uh, all of our hunting decoys. Look at this. This is the main reason why we're doing all this. All these decoys, it's stuffed full. All Argos, side-by-sides, floaters. There's decoys and stuff everywhere. Okay, so my plan is, is to get my shot back. I want the shot back, especially in the summertime for myself, but especially in the guide season, so we can utilize the space in here better. And so, all of the guides that will be living in here, yeah, they'll be more comfortable. Their dogs will have more room, everything. So, I guess we'll get into it here. Um, this is the guide shack. This is where all the guys stay. And downstairs here, this used to be only, whoops, wrong way. It used to be only Drew's room. This year it's gonna be much different. So this year you're gonna come in, there'll be a wall here, 
and a wall here. So this will be a bedroom and this will be a bedroom. We have a new guide. We have two new guides. Y'all have met Gage, but we have Aaron. Y'all haven't met Aaron. This will be his bedroom, okay? So it'll have a door going in there. This right here, this space will be washer dryer for the guides, probably a utility sink. And then there'll be a wall right here with a door going in. This will be their entire bath. They'll have a full bathroom, shower, pooper, sink, mirror, everything they need here. And they'll all share. So laundry room, two bedrooms, bathroom, you get, the, you, you get the gist of it. And upstairs, all we're doing upstairs, this used to be only Gerald's room only. Now, this year, we are going to do the same thing. And I don't know how we're going to do it yet, but we're going to do a wall this way and probably this way or something and try to get two or three rooms out of this massive, 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 massive room. Look, this is one of Gerald's mounts he has up here in his bedroom. That's the uh, spec and a lesser. That's the Sand Hill Flyway Special right there, baby. So that's just a rundown. When we get to these projects, I will bring you all along. But I wanted to run through everything first of all. I still haven't even got to all my plans at the Big Lodge, which we'll do that after we go see Brad. All right. We're on the north side of the guide shack. This is where the bathroom is that I just told you. Oh yeah, laying water line today. Old Bradley, hi Frederick. Old Bradley, look, he's already, you look like a working man, dude. You got the whole, you have the demeanor on your face. We're not seeing the fun, spunky waterfowl in no, Bradley. No, no, today's a serious day. Serious day. Serious day, got work to do. You, uh, you gonna be ready for mid-August, North Dakota? Uh, you going this year? You better go. Well, you better go. We're not too busy. Yeah, you are. You guys have been pretty busy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Insane. With COVID, I've been trying to find... I knew I always, I always had Bradley to help, but somebody for construction to do all the interior, and boy, people are soaked. Dude, just busy. Yeah, it's Comple insane. Completely scheduled out. So, to give you guys a rundown, we're running a water line and dropping some electrical back here to this you guys have not seen this yet so dug a big a big cutout into one of my hills um this was actually wade and i's idea but i already pur purchased two brand new brand spanking new one trip uh 40 foot connex containers and i'm going to slide both of them up into this hill out of the way both doors will be facing here and then on this side we'll have a walk-in door to go into one so basically, long story short, all of the decoys in the shop, the side-by-sides, literally everything, everything we use day-to-day -day will be ran out of these air, watertight, out of the way, uh, the, it'll have water and lights out here, containers. So we'll, so eventually, like I was saying, I'll have my shop back, dang it. Uh, all the sand, this entire area here, uh, the the asphalt millings parking lot will extend all this so extra parking i'll actually be able to park a lot of the clients out back here and have a lot more room for trailers and and uh every day this is where gerald and i uh he'll he'll run a spread and i'll run a spread we'll have our separate trailers and everything november december january and february uh gerald and i will will be on a lot of the same hunts but we'll be backed up here every day Rotating the uh, decoys in and out of the containers, whatever we need to do, blinds, whatever. This sand loves to cave in. <laughs> uh, you guys are probably wondering why I'm running power and water out to the containers because right here uh, we're gonna have a hydrant and a hose 
So now we'll be able to run, uh, clean all the birds out here. So all the feathers and nastiness is out here and not up by the lodge. I didn't like that last year. That's one thing I wanted to really change. Uh, and then the electrical, I want at least probably this Connex on this side to uh, have lights in it. In case we gotta switch decoys at night, the night before the hunt, you know the deal. So this was a uh, step number one of about a three or five step process back here. This had to be done first, the water, the electrical, out to the containers and then uh, the asphalt guy will come in here and lay all this new asphalt. I think next year I might want to do like a big lean to coming off here. So that's the plans. We're about done here. Old Bradley, he's got the spigot in the ground. We're going to bury her up here pretty soon. Well, that looks real nice. Ooh. That looks real nice. Ooh, ooh, we dang. Got that new, new. That's some new, new right there. There we go. We're all done. This will be so nice. So, uh, this will be the gathering point. Last year, the gathering point was on the south side of the guide shop. And that is where we cleaned all the birds and all of the feathers that gathered. I absolutely despised it. It didn't look professional. It didn't look clean. This year, my plan is to clean up the entire property. The idea is to the lodge. We're going in there in one second and I'm gonna give you all of the rundown of the new new for the lodge. But this will get everything back here. All the blinds, all the A-frames, all the decoys all of man the dog blinds all the chairs oh uh, man the lay down blankets the lay down chairs there's all of the full body decoys all of the everything literally everything will be out of that lodge all back here in the containers well it's the next day and i got a special delivery oh boy she's a big one Got a special delivery uh we're gonna head over and take a look at all of the new projects that are gonna happen at the lodge here shortly but yeah these uh-huh uh-huh i can't tell you everything yet that's all i can tell you you guys gotta wait uh but let's uh head on over to the lodge got some awesome stuff gonna happen i'm really excited about it uh, one thing this year, the biggest project that I wanted to get done was this right here. So we're on the north side of the lodge and right where this pallet is right here is going to be a walk in and walk out door. That's where the staircase comes down right there and there's going to be a door that goes in and out. I really want an extra entrance here on the north side. Plus with that extra entrance, I'm gonna build basically a lean-to that comes over, an awning, lean-to, hangover, whatever you guys wanna call it, a porch uh, that comes off roughly, basically it's gonna be between this AC and that AC, and it's gonna come out roughly 12 foot. So after that's done, all of this, all this sand and dirt here that goes all here, I'm just going to walk you through it. It's easier for me just to walk you through it. All this, all that, all that will be nice white rock. I'll have another entrance and exit uh, so we can get cars and people uh, from the other side and to park back here. Because with the addition of the parking lot, there's going to be plenty of room for people to park. Plus, plus um, on a south wind day, It'll be perfect grilling back here. That's what I really want to add is a nice grill chill spot. So this will be the hangout area now. It'll be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome.
I can't wait for that project to get done. But let's go ahead and go inside and show you the rest of my ideas. It's going to be a busy summer. Last year was extra busy having to just build the entire thing from scratch. This year, uh, it won't be as busy in the sense of me solely, you know, and Gerald having to get the projects done. The busy and complicated part was trying to find a contractor to do these big jobs. A lot of these big jobs are just too big for me. And with the price of wood, yeah, you all know the price of wood. I didn't want to mess anything up. So it has been a feat just trying to find someone to do the work. So we finally found somebody, someone local who knows who I am and they're gonna come hunt and it's awesome, awesome deal. But here's the staircase. This is where the door will be. All this will be gone, obviously. That'll be the entrance and exit door. Um, let's go up here, show you what's up. Up here, so big change this year is that we'll have a full-time chef. Y'all know Bert. Bert, the old Bert from Cabo, Bert from doing all the big cooks and boils and stuff. He'll be here all year long. So right here, this is the upstairs two bedrooms. Right here, this is has been and was just the old storage area, right? Uh-huh, I know. Yeah, we got Preston's old bed up here too. Right here, right inside this door, boom, will be a bathroom. So we'll have an upstairs bathroom and then there'll be a door going this way. And I am having Nathan and the boys punch me a window right there. This will be uh, Bert's room. Bert's room, new bathroom. The clients will love having an extra bathroom up here. That's what I wanted to do last year, but it was just so late. I didn't have the time nor the funds to be able to make it happen. This year we will. Now, the big project that I have not figured out is these floors. Y'all, if you are from my area or anywhere <clears throat> close enough to be able to do these floors, I don't care if you got to come down and literally stay in the lodge for a week or three days or whatever you need to do, I will house you here if you are a floor connoisseur, if you are a floor professional okay so what i want to do is all these light blue floors through the whole thing i want to recoat i want to recoat them with a whole nother color a whole different texture okay that's what i'm going after if you know anybody please get a hold of me if you are a floor expert please hit me up on instagram please 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 if you think that we can work something out Please, I'll trade out some hunts. I'll pay you premium. I don't care. I want it done. Get a hold of me via Instagram. DM me on there. That would be the easiest way. But I feel like um, that's kind of the last adding touch. You know, these floors got to be done. They just got to be done. <sighs> See, it would look so much better just rolling all the way through here. That's my idea. I'm sticking to it. But. Uh, we do have some more mounts. I have a bunch of snow geese that I kept from this last season that we're going to add up here. Uh-huh. Y'all remember Kurt, old Kurt daddy? He's going to help me mount them all. Actually, he's going to mount them all. I'm going to help him, and I'm going to make some taxidermy videos this coming summer. Y'all have been wanting to see him, and I've been wanting to learn how to do it. So it'll be fun. <sighs> Now, obviously, guys, the amount of projects this summer compared to last year, two different things. Last year, all this took place. It was an epic summer. It was honestly probably the busiest summer of my entire life just trying to get this thing done. It was pretty stressful, but having Gerald all last summer, man, it was fun. We had a bunch of fun doing it. It was a lot of hard work, and this last season, Every single client that walked in this door right here, they would walk in, their first reaction would go, oh, oh boy, Bob, this is way better in person. And I'm like, thank you. That is the reaction that I wanted, you know? Because on the outside, it's just a still building. But on the inside, she's a treasure. Whew. But 
Again, guys, if you're wanting to book a uh, hunt here at Sand Hill Flyaway with myself, uh, like I said, the Sand Hill Flyaway website is always linked down in the description. Every single video I upload, it is always down there. All you have to do, click on the link, go to sandhillflyways.com, go in the upper right corner of the little drop box and, and select inquire to book. And basically there is a registration form for you to fill out with how many people you wanna bring, your name, your number, your email, how we can contact you back. And that's what we do. Me and Beth, we get back a hold of you and we try to see if we can make something work. Uh, all of the pricing, all the information, all the package information, foods, meals, everything that you need to know is on the website. So go check out the website. Big props to my baby Beth, uh, my wife, for setting up the website. It turned out great. And the system, the new system is working awesome. Last year, a lot of you know that inquired, I booked every single client, every one of them, either through my email or through my Instagram. And let me tell you, through my Instagram, it was treacherous. It was horrible. I it took me so much time. I had to go through thousands of people just beating around the bush. You know what I'm saying? So this year, I don't have to deal with all that. I'm just dealing with you guys that are serious. So if you're serious about it, get a hold of us and I will personally be calling you back. It's rewarding. <clears throat> one thing about my business here at Sand Hill is that I don't want to be stagnant. That's one thing I will never do is be stagnant. I will always be pushing the envelope. I will always be bettering the property. I'll always, I'll, I'll, I guess the main thing I'm trying to get at, I'll always be trying to better the experience for my clients. That's guaranteed. Guaranteed is one thing I can promise for sure is when you come back here, you're gonna eat good, you're gonna have a good time, there's gonna be amazing camaraderie, a lot of laughs, and an awesome evening, hopefully with a campfire if it's not too windy, you know what I mean? But thank you all for being here. If you have any suggestions on the lodge, be sure to drop a comment below. I really want to put Another gable hangover on this side. Don't know if it's gonna happen this year. Well, like I said, with the prices of wood, <laughs> it's horrible. I almost put any project that, that pertained to buying wood, I almost put it off till next year, but I'm like, I can't do that. This stuff's gotta be done. But subscribe if you haven't. If you like this video, the lodge videos, the, the progress videos, you know, all of my project videos, pertaining to the lodge let me know smash the thumbs up button thank y'all for being here but until next time